Hey, you're listening to Pure Light, where we explore how to become the highest version of yourself. My name is Aili. I'm a coach and a Kundalini Yoga and meditation teacher. I can help you build inner and outer strength, learn to trust yourself, and realize who you really are so that you feel worthy of your craziest dreams and confident in your power to make them happen. This is episode 35, and it's about how to see beyond your excuses. So if you have ever said something to yourself along the lines of, I can't do this thing that I want to do because of whatever reason, this episode is for you. I want you to take a moment and think of something that you want to do where you have come up with a reason or excuse not to do it. So if you were to fill in the blank after the words, I can't, what would be the thing you want to put in there that you want to address? Because here's the problem with telling yourself this. It's a way of discounting or ignoring your desires. So when you tell yourself that you can't do this thing that you want to do, you end up shrinking into a lesser version of yourself because you aren't following that desire. And often we don't do things because we think they're impossible. But the problem here is usually not you or your abilities. It's the belief. It's the belief that you can't do this thing because that belief is preventing you from even trying and from expanding into who you could be. So it's, it's keeping you small and, um, you know, keeping you safe in a way, keeping you in the realm of whatever you already know. So it's important to have a tool to deal with this mental habit of telling yourself you can't do th- something whenever it comes up. So take the thing that, um, you know, that blank that you filled in after the words, I can't, the thing that you want to do. And now ask yourself this. How can I do that thing? So how can I, and then fill in the blank. This may seem like a simple exercise, but it does a couple of things. So for one thing, it shifts the focus from the problem to the solution. And it takes you from a negative perspective to a place of openness and curiosity where you haven't already prejudged what's possible and you know what you're capable of. Another thing that it does is it allows you to find the willingness to try instead of shutting down the possibility completely. And because of that, you may start to see creative possibilities that maybe you hadn't thought of before because you couldn't see them from the limited perspective that you had taken. So ask yourself, how can I do this thing that I want to do? And see what comes up for you. You may be able to think of some new things. I know for me, um, you know, with respect to writing my book, when I first started writing my book, the thought like, I can't write a book kept coming into my mind. And I knew that I needed to deal with it. And so I, I used this strategy. And I kept coming up with, you know, things that I can do. So what can I do here? I can write, write down my ideas, I can, um, you know, start to organize them, I can use post it notes to like, figure out how to group them. And I think by identifying little steps, it starts to build a momentum and then you start to build this energy going towards the thing that you want to do. And it's kind of funny because I think it's just in the last couple of months that I finally had the thought I can write a book. And so that's how I know it's really going to start, you know, building that strong positive momentum and come to a completion at some point soon. So anyway, the point of all this is that sometimes all it takes to see beyond your excuses is a simple shift in perspective. And in, uh, you know, the tool that we've talked about here today, sometimes it only takes one word, adding that word how in front of um, the question, how can I do this thing? So if you enjoyed this, subscribe wherever you're listening for new episodes every week. And if you find yourself stalling on your dreams and want even more support with not letting your excuses get in the way, get my free training. It'll help you get over fear and self-doubt. It's called Become Your Bravest Self, and you can find it at becomeyourbravestself.com. It'll guide you through five simple steps to do the thing that scares you. You can also find the link for that in the show notes at purelightpodcast.com. Look for episode 35. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time, may you be guided by your light.